Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about data types in Python. Like any programming language, Python supports a lot of data types. These are the various data types in Python that will help you get started. Like any other programming language, Python has support for numbers like integers, long, and floating point. We can use strings with ease in Python. Arrays in Python are called lists that are dynamically sized. There is also a tuple data type which is an immutable array. Immutable means that the array cannot be modified after assignment. Then we have sets, key value pairs and a couple of special data structures we will look into later. Numbers in Python are integers, floating point and long. A cool feature in Python is that we can do arithmetic operations with any numeric type as operands. No need to typecast it in like some other languages. We can also use double asterisks to calculate exponents in Python. So double asterisk 2 is used to calculate squares and double asterisk 3 is used to calculate cubes. Similarly, double asterisk 0.5 is used to calculate the square root and double asterisk 1 by 3 can be used for cube root. Also, the division operator which is represented by forward slash can be used for both integer and float division. The result will depend on the data type of the numerator and the denominator. If either of them are float, the result will be a float. Otherwise, the result will be a truncated integer. Strings are very versatile in Python and very easy to play around with. In Python, you can use single quotes and double quotes for strings expecting the same behavior. Here are a host of inbuilt functions for strings. There are a few examples like lower, upper and title. Feel free to fire up Python interpreter and play around. Slicing of strings gives Python its strength in text processing. There are numerous things we can do with slicing. A of colon 10 colon 2 will give us every second character for the first 10 characters. All combinations of slicing with its three parameters, namely starting index, ending index and step can be used. All three are optional to use. There are two array types in Python. One, list is mutable. Mutability is the ability of a data structure to change its value after initialization. Another one is an immutable type, tuple. Lists have inbuilt methods for appending an element, extending the list with another list and popping out the last element amongst others. All the slicing rules we talked about in the last slide for strings apply to its lists and tuples. Tuples are the same as lists with respect to accessing the elements by indexing or slicing, but we cannot change the values as it is immutable. Sets are data structures which are like lists, but they cannot contain duplicates. So if you add, say, 3 to a set and again try to add a 3 again, it will still have only one 3. Sets have an add method to add one element and an extend method to add multiple elements from a list to the set. Set can hold any data type such as numbers, strings and objects. You can also do all general set operations like set intersection, difference and union on Python sets. A dictionary in Python is an in-memory key value store where the keys and the values can be of any data type. They are very often used in Python and provide a lot of inbuilt methods like keys which lists all the keys, items which lists each key value pair as a tuple and iter items which works the same as items but fetches the key value pairs one after the other as opposed to loading the entire structure into memory. Like we explored in the previous slide, a dictionary can hold any data type as values but often we need to mention a default data type for a dictionary value in case it is not present. Default dict Let's us specify the default upfront when the container is initialized. For example, default dict of list will ensure that all the values in the dictionary are lists and we can simply use the list method like append, extend to set values and index and slice to get the values. Very often we need to count. There are always primitive ways to count like looping through the entire list and keeping a count of the elements as we go. But Python makes it easy to count, find the most common elements and so on. Counter is a special data structure which takes an iterable data type, for example list, set or a tuple, as a parameter and provides methods such as most underscore common 
to get the most common n number of elements along with their frequency counts.